I feel like if you resonate as a divine feminine, you're not in communication with this twin. And this twin is actually pretty upset about it. They're pretty angry at you or they're upset with themselves, one or the other, or it could be both. It could be because you guys are not communicating. You, this person feels like you've moved on and that you're happy, okay? They feel like you're resting, you're healing, you're recovering, you're not talking to them and you don't really have anything to say. They feel like your life is doing great, you've moved on. Like they really feel like, dang, the collective really just moved on away from me and ended things. And it looks like you have, it looks like you're very happy. You are in a really good mood without this person. It definitely seems like that. You could be a Leo, you don't have to be. The sun energy is here on your side, okay? Recovery energy is here. You're doing your thing. You're really not kind of concerned about this person, I feel. Do you love them? Yes, you still love them. Do you still think about them from time to time? I feel like you do because the two of cups, <laughs> the two of cups is out here as uh, mutual energy, okay? Again, spirit made it abundantly clear because when these cards came out, they flew on certain sides and I was like, oh, that's what we're doing. Okay, this is what we're doing. But this is mutual energy, nine of wands, two of cups. I feel like you might be in this nine of wands energy, a little skeptical, you know, you don't trust this person. I'm not sure what they did here. Definitely could have made a wrong decision. There's a lot of passion and chemistry and love between the two of you. There really is. Okay. The two of cups is here. But the thing is, the um, lovers is here in reverse. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. You don't have to be here. We also have Scorpio energy with the judgment card. Now, for some of y'all, this person could have made a wrong decision. But when I clarify, because that's what this is about. This lovers is about a choice. It's about maybe even possibly someone here made the wrong choice to end something maybe someone is feeling your person is feeling like well geez you know maybe i made the wrong choice i'm not happy with where my life is in the current situation i feel like this is your masculine but on the other hand you are happy that you let this go you're happy i feel like you've moved on and your person is really upset that you've moved on but they want to talk to you they want to hear from you they're going to be communicating with you within the next few weeks Okay, because what came out was literally communicate clearly within the next few weeks. So you might as well get ready to hear from this person. Okay, for those of you who want to hear from them, you know what I mean? But the reason why I say this person is really shy, they're, I don't, I just feel like they're holding back from talking to you. Uh, but they're pretty upset with you. I really do feel like they've just been very quiet here. Pisces energy with the high priestess and then the hermit energy here with Virgo energy, right? They are holding back their feelings that they're upset, but they might come towards you here. It looks like, again, within the next few weeks and apologize, page of cups, three of pentacles. I'm sorry. Listen, we need to talk. Are you willing to listen? This person really wants some attention from you, Six of Wands. They feel like they're not getting attention from you and they're really mad. I'm telling you, they're really mad about this, okay? So now let's clarify and see what's going on with this masculine, okay? So they definitely do want to try to come towards you and see if they can talk about something here with you. I feel like they have a lot to say that they haven't said. But mostly here... Here's the thing. This person knows that you separated from them because the wheel, the, the world, I'm sorry, the wheel is out here. So you're happy, you're content, you've moved on. Do you love them? Yes, you do. I feel like you guys are working on yourself. Some of you guys have um, been working on your finances. You've been focused on your career. You've been focused on your stability. You've been focused on your money. But most of all, you've been focused on you because the Eight of Pentacles is energy about Again, remember we have recovery here, right? This is you healing, you know, just to, just deciding to be happy. And this person feels like they don't have any control over the situation, I feel like, or maybe even control over you. That could be what it is. What else here for this masculine? What else is going on with this masculine, please? Well, <laughs> 
this masculine has some bad habits there is some devil energy could be dealing with a um capricorn here for some of y'all some of you all this person could deal with some form of addiction okay drinking drugs sex addictions it could be a toxic mindset it could be a specific toxic behavior a toxic trait all right so i feel like yeah moving on see the thing is i feel like you've moved on but this came out in reverse y'all have moved on but this person is not able to move on this person is not able to yeah i'm telling you they want some attention literally this attention card just came out <sighs> this person's used to getting attention from people from whoever they want it and i feel like you're different you're not giving this person that attention or they feel like you've moved on and you get a bunch of attention you get a lot of attention from other people they may feel like you've moved on you're dating somebody else some of you may have and some of you may not have and you're just minding your own business you know doing whatever you can to improve yourself your life focusing on you mm -hmm. let's see what else is going on with this map yeah look at this somebody here they feel like you're getting a lot of attention from other people you might be very popular you may have a platform they feel like you're very uh focused you know you're being recognized here your you, your stability is you know some of y'all might be mothers or fathers or taking care of home you know you really don't need anybody for anything you're doing good shady shady energy here i'm telling you this person has some questionable behavior definitely some devil energy here you don't trust them literally shady untrustworthy energy is out here yeah i feel like you're also dealing with somebody here who gets a lot of attention they might be popular seen in the public eye they might be very uh you know male or female get a lot of attention they might be very attractive but low-key this person is has some toxic behavior and they're mad at you that they can't get the attention from you Ooh, gold digger using people for money wow big ego oh shoot so your person has a big ego huh they have a real huge self their ego is really huge this person's very self-centered and self-absorbed absorbed wow i mean it makes sense though it really does see because here's the thing yeah, I told you they can't let you go. Look at this clingy. Somebody that not cannot let you go. Social media stalker. They're stalking you and watching you on social media. So they're keeping tabs on you. Anytime you post anything to social media, no matter what the platform is, they're watching you. They may even have like a, a fake profile. Because I told you, you're in this, you're in this energy. Doing good, looking good. Queen B energy here. Okay. Like. You're doing very well for yourself. A lot of y'all are focusing on your money and your career, your stability. You're creating more abundance for yourself and you are happy. You're in this energy of the sun. <laughs> and they feel like they have a lack of control of the situation right now because you're not talking to them and they're big mad about it. But the thing is, is that they're not saying anything to you yet. Ooh, divine masculine is talking trash about you. I don't like this energy. Somebody here, you have an ability to save money and be responsible. I feel like you're way more responsible this, than this masculine because this masculine is having money problems, okay? I feel like either they, they're definitely, yeah, this person is more focused on what happens in the 3D um, and not what's on the inside, the 5D, right? They spend money as quick as they get it. As soon as the money is in their hand, it's like burning a hole in their pocket. Yeah, I'm telling you, they took you took a step back to pursue your career and to pursue your goals. But now this person, I'm telling you, they're they're doing a lot of thinking, even if they're not saying anything to you. They're really contemplating coming towards you and apologizing for this behavior. Yeah, they want to apologize. Yep. 
I'm telling you guys, self-love is here, taking a step back, recovering, healing, going within, treating yourself, doing some shadow work and some groundwork, you know, some grounding work here. You, you Okay, you're looking for somebody here that's loyal and honest, you know, with you. Somebody, okay. Here's the deal. This person knows they should have been loyal to you. They should have been honest with you because you were a blessing and a gift from God. They might be thinking about changing. Time for a change. Big changes are coming. Trust the process is here. Interesting. So show me what this what this masculine wants with the collective when they come towards them. What are, what will their intention be when they come towards the collective? Oh, they're jealous. They are watching you and they are jealous. Some of y'all, they think you moved on and they're trying to come towards you maybe and even give you some form of high level commitment. Show me this person's twin. What are their intentions when they come towards the collector, please? Uh, Water by Tila is playing right now. And then look at this retreat, getaway, travel. This person may want to come towards you and tempt you with like a trip and go travel somewhere and go do something. Maybe somewhere where there's water, a waterfall. I think that's funny how uh, Tila's playing water and then boom, we get this card with this water just, you know, this waterfall coming here. Compromise. I told you that's that three of pentacles energy. They want to come back together and try to make this work with you and apologize. Yeah, dark night of the soul, facing their fears, facing their own wounds. So it looks like here some this person actually might have done a little bit of work. Because they're heartbroken. They're in this three of swords energy. They're heartbroken over this separation and this time that you guys have had a part. And they're low-key angry and upset with you. And they haven't said anything about it. But they want to offer some form of commitment to you to show you that they are loyal to you. They're hoping that you're going to agree to it. And for some of y'all, could be marriage. Could just be a higher level of commitment. Unconditional love. <laughs> Underneath commitment offer of loyalty and agreement yeah they love you i don't know if you're going to take them back let's get some messages from our twin flame day spirit give me some messages here <clears throat> you're mirroring each other you're marrying each other and thinking about each other. Our inner guidance is clear, but our ego is resisting it. Yeah, this person tried to run from their, run from, they weren't able to face their fears and apologize and, and act right because they were resisting it because of their ego. Clarify this mirroring energy, please. Another mirroring card just came out. So definitely you and your person are mirroring your, okay, inner, um, our inner child is crying out right now. We both need to confront them and become parents and become the parents. Oh, okay. So interesting. They may want a child with you, but somebody here may have children too. But this person is definitely getting ready to um, face their fears. They projected their patterns onto you and it was all fear-based. I see why you walked away and you moved on and decided to heal and just make yourself happy and not wait on this person. You know, you just decided to just focus on you. And it looks like you're actually doing pretty well. Mirroring energy came out again. There's a heavy energy of mirroring here between you and your person, which is so weird because you're super duper happy. And this person is like really upset and mad and quiet about it. So you might be masking your feelings, trying to cover up something, but I really don't see that here, especially with the sun card and these other cards clarifying that. You are in your old patterns, but can't see it. Interesting. Communication. I'll contact you when I'm able to. Right now, my life is too complicated to bring you into it, but know that I want to talk to you. Okay. So, so another card of communication. There's patterns going on here. There's some mirroring going on here. So this person has some drama going on in their life right now. That's why you haven't heard from them yet. That's why they're so quiet. Um, but they're thinking about you. Hmm. Yeah, they don't want to drag you into this drama. They don't want to drag you into this drama. 
It says, I feel like I don't deserve your love. I'm worried when you, I'm worried you will leave me when you see who I really am. Wow. Wow. That's deep. It says, I'm trying to connect to you and give you a message. Can you hear me? So this person is trying to connect with you in the 5D. Maybe through signs and synchronicities, maybe through dreams, maybe through music, something of that sort. But so expect to hear from this person. This person could be any zodiac sign. Let's pull a zodiac sign and see. Um, oh, you know what? Spirit said, pull some messages. So let's see what your person wants to say to you, okay? What does this person want to say to the twin? Gaslighting you. I have, I've been lying to you and gaslighting you. You weren't crazy. You were right. I just wasn't strong enough to admit it. But you guys knew you were being gaslighted. That's why you didn't trust them. That's why you let go. You moved on and you decided to focus on yourself. You took a step back. You trusted, you trusted the signs. You trusted your intuition and you knew it was a time for you to take a break from this and focus on yourself and focus on your stability but they are obsessed with you they i'm telling you they are obsessively watching you they're obsessively thinking about you it says i think i'm obsessed with you i think you i think about you all the time <laughs> stalk your social media and hope i run into you when i'm out Give me one more card. What does this person want to say? The future. I, um, I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. I, I told you this person definitely wants to go somewhere with you. Like they want to travel. They want to go somewhere. They do. So some of y'all, they may come towards you and say, hey, let's go take a trip. Let's take a break and get away, whatever it is, somewhere near some water, okay? So I love you guys, okay? I hope y'all are doing amazing. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Um, otherwise, I will see you later. Love you. Bye-bye.